The road to the College World Series begins for 64 teams across college baseball today. And for DBU, that journey starts here in Fort Worth with the Patriots and three-time national champions, Oregon State Beavers, meeting game one at Lufton Stadium in the Fort Worth Regional. It's remarkable what Abel accomplished in Omaha in 2018. He won four games in 11 days. One and two to Glenn with one out. Glenn goes the opposite way with it deep to right field down the line. Meckler going back, looking up, and that one is off the top of the screen fence. Glenn around first, digs for two, feet first slide. The throw is cut off. Jackson nearly left the yard. It's a ringing double the opposite way, and the Patriots have a man in scoring position with one out. This pleasant day at the ballpark, 72 degrees. They wear the black short sleeve tops, the gray pants, and the black caps. At 2-0 to Moore, and Cole goes deep into center field. Boyd back, still going back at the wall, looking up, and that's a two-run blast for Cole Moore. The Patriots are staked to a 2-0 lead on the back of Moore's 11th home run of the year. He went to the deepest part of the yard, 400, to straightaway center, and it's 2-0 DBU on a two-out, two-run blast for Moore. We talk about needing to get a run early against Kevin Abel, and you could not have asked for more right there. Cole Moore obliterates that one to dead center field, and the Patriots have an early head start. Two runs for the Pats, though, on the back of a blast from Cole Moore. Dominic Hamill making his 16th appearance and his 15th as a starter. He had one out of the bullpen in that Missouri Valley Conference tournament. He is 12-2 on the year, a 371 ERA and a 199 batting average against what a matchup on the mound between Abel and Hamill. Clotch now with the runner 90 feet away at third. The outfield straight, the infield is back. Benny's close to the line at third. Here's the pitch. A chopper, this should score a run. A slow roller hit to Jones, flips and throws across. Gets Clonch. It's 2-1. to one. Patriots as Clonch picks up his 28th RBI. A guy that has impressed Canham here really in the last week or so of the season. So Bernetti gets the start. Ober hitting seventh is at the plate. Forster's at first. He reached on a leadoff walk. 1-0 pitch. Ground ball to short. This could be a tailor-made double play. Jones to Glenn. Over to Moore. 6-4-3. Twin killing. Just what Hamill ordered. So the leadoff walk does no damage. We make our way to the third. The Patriots are on top, 2-1 to one on the PBN. Two balls, two strikes, two away. As Hamill looking to dial up his second strikeout against a team that has punched out 479 times this season. The 2-2 pitch. He struck him out swinging on the breaking ball. A fist punch from Dominic Hamill. And he is done with the Beavers in the bottom of the third inning. A leadoff walk is a race by a double play ball. Meckler strikes out, and we're going to the fourth. Patriots on top by a score of 3-1. to one. This is DBU baseball on the PBN. 2-2, two two, Hamill against Clonch. He's got a 17-game hit streak. The pitch, swing, and a miss, strike three. And we get the Dom shimmy at nothing and two. Infield back, outfield straight away. The Patriots ace with the high hole. He looks in. The 0-2 pitch, swing, and a miss, strike three. At 95 miles an hour, Fuchs has gone on three pitches and two left on base for Oregon State in the fourth inning. We're going to the fifth. Patriots on top by a score of 3-1. to one. This is DBU baseball on the PBN. Patriots scored two runs in the first on a Cole Moore home run with two outs, a blast over the 400-foot sign in center field. And then got a run in the third. Now the pitch. Benefield goes deep into center field. Boyd back, still running towards the track at the wall. And that ball leaves the yard. A solo home run for Andrew Benefield. It's been his seventh of the year. And it stakes the Patriots now to a 4-1 lead in the top of the fifth. How about the pop that we have seen from this Patriot lineup? Both home runs to dead center field. And as you talk about, the deepest part of the ballpark. Shaded the opposite way. Here's the pitch. Town goes that way. Laser line drive and a base hit. A run scores. Make it 5-1 Patriots as Town takes a wide turn of first. It's his 48th RBI. And the Patriots lead is now at four here in the fifth. And then Will Frisch. 3-1 pitch. Glenn hammers it on a line. Left field. This has got two bases written all over it. He'll exchange places with Rivertown as River crosses home. Jackson slides into second. His second double of the day. Patriots extend the lead. It's now 6-1 in the fifth. Six runs, six hits, and error-free baseball for the Pats. One run, three hits, one errors for the Beavers. As we're in the bottom of the fifth. Hamill's pitch. Fly ball struck well. Center field. Grady back, still running, looking up, and that is over his head and over the wall. 
Ober's ninth home run of the year. He is the power hitter on this ball club, a team that has hit just 50 home runs on the season. That's been an area where Dominic has scuffled at times this year. Ober rounds the bases, and he's got some words for that Oregon State dugout trying to urge this club on. It's now 6-2. The lefty waits, Moore holds Ducard at first, who's got an average lead. Here's the pitch. Fly ball struck well. Right center field, Town after it, at the wall, looking up, and we've got a brand new ball game. Fuchs went very deep to right center field. A three-run shot, and now all of a sudden, it's a one-run game. The Patriot lead has been trimmed to six to five here in the bottom of the sixth. We talked about it. The solo home run won't kill you. But when you give away two bases and someone runs into it, you're asking for trouble. And uh, Oregon State really hasn't been in this game from the beginning, and all of a sudden they've got a lot of life in a one-run ball game. Not only that, they've got a guy in Mitchell Berberg who has settled in. For Hamill today, six and a third, which he gave up five runs on five hits. He walked five, struck out six through 95 pitches, 54 for strikes. There is a runner at first that would go under Hamill's ledger and trying to keep that run glued to the bag at first base is lefty Peyton Sherling. Infield is extremely deep right now. 0-1 oh, no for Sherling. Right leg straight out. Now he lifts it. Now he comes home and Clonch lines one to third base right at Benefield and that'll end the inning. So a couple of weak line drives to the left side of the infield does the job for Peyton Sherlin as he is able to strand a couple runners on base. We're going to the eighth, and the Patriots have a lead. They're on top by a score of 6-5 to five on the PBN. It'll be Cragen Keckley who will come in in one of the biggest spots in his four-year, now five-year, Patriot career. Runner at third base is Gretler. He walked on four pitches. Then Garrett Forrester on a first pitch, a single into center field. This ball is lined to third, caught by Benefield, diving to third base. He nearly had a double play. Ryan Ober had a bid for extra bases, but it went right to Andrew Benefield for the second out of the inning. The Patriot crowd is on their feet down that first baseline. Here at the two-tiered stadium, Lupton Stadium, one and two. Keckley against Armstrong. Here's the pitch. Tapper out in front of the mound. Keckley's got it. Goes halfway, underhands the first, and he's out of the inning. Cragen Keckley walks the tight rope and two are left in scoring position in the bottom of the eighth. Pats go to the ninth with the lead. It is six to five. Patriots on top on the PDN. And two. Massive pitch coming. Keckley fires. Strike three called on the inside corner. Throws Dernetti. Keckley spun the slider and it just grabbed the inner half at the knees. A huge pitch and there's one gone. One and two, one out. Keckley has the sign from Bolware. Now the pitch. Fly ball, right field. David there in his tracks, waits for it to come down. Two gone. One more to get in the Beavers' ninth. Here comes Justin Boyd. Well, he went to a 3-2 slider on the inside Come corner to a right-hander, Dernetti, to start the inning. Now it's 3-2 to a righty and Boyd. Clonch is on deck. The 3-2 pitch, two outs. Keckley's delivery. Fly ball, popped up, back is second. Quinn waits for it to come down. He's got it, and the Pats move on to the winner's bracket. A 6-5 win over Oregon State in game one of the Fort Worth Regional. Craig and Keckley comes in and picks up his second save of the season, the sixth of his career, and the Pats will play tomorrow night. They'll sit back and watch TCU and McNeese State later tonight. What a ball game. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Good job, good job, Jenny. Big dub. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Harry Slugger! Let's go, Greg. 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 Let